Hi, today we're going to begin the depth map node in Resolve Fusion Studio version. This is by special request from a subscriber and um, let's get to it. Shift, spacebar, control, spacebar, whatever tickles your fancy depth map click on it and add that the depth map node has two inputs this is the depth map source this is where the footage is connected to then of course is the mask mask will determine the area over which the mask will take effect let's go to the settings under inspector by default when you pull it in it's set to better if you are going to make adjustments to your depth map, you need to change this to faster so you, it doesn't impact on your system too much when you're making the adjustments. To make um, map adjustments, take this adjust map levels. Now let me put, put in a footage so we see as I make adjustments here, you see how it works. Let's go to media pool. Let's put in this footage. The footage of, of the steady just walking down. There is this pool. So at this point, let's connect this to the depth map node and drag this to the viewer. It will take a while before it displays it. And there it is. We can adjust before we now we've changed this to faster. So we can adjust the file limit. So file limit determines how much detail will show in the farther regions of the image. The farther regions are depicted in darker shades then the near limit is depicted in lighter shades that's the closer parts of the image then the gamma just lifts the general brightness so if we go to file limit i drag it up you see that detail in the farther regions disappear so these are ways where you can actually isolate certain objects at certain depths within your footage or image same thing for near limits details disappear and the, the parts of the image are closer to the camera of course like i said gamma just drops the real overall brightness increases it drops it okay double click that to set it then if we want to isolate specific parts the target depth here is set to once one is the closest image so if we if i drag this now I can decide to focus on, so my focus could be on this. So you see that this spots give me more detail around the spots and this lady is now darker because I shifted the target depth to somewhere around this part of the image. That's what target depth is for. It's basically used to, to determine what parts of the image you're isolating and click this to reset it. Tolerance will determine how much of the depths the image it details around the specific object you're looking at you want to take into the map. The map can adjust it, reduce it, just to finesse the mask just a wee bit more. Then you can soften the edge and the mask you develop. Post processing, that's just makes it that you can even make the mask you're developing finer and contract and expand it to come to blur the mask. Now one thing about depth map because the system intensive it takes a while for it to generate just one frame. To make sure that you can still use it all we can do is I reset this now to default to ensure I have the depth mask for this whole footage I set it to default I can leave it at better. In fact let's that faster just for the sake of this video then i press shift space bar and type saver saver is a node of fusion where you can export everything you've done in here you can export into saver I just save it into a folder where you cannot pull it in as a media that you can use so we can export this as a footage so we go to saver go to browse let me just put it on Let's go to YouTube and then just create a folder. I see depth and open the folder and give this depth. 
and save. And I can go to Fusion and say render all savers. So what Fusion will do is it will generate the depth mask across the footage. This makes it easier for me to now use the depth map installation. Press shift space bar and I type loader. Then I can go to the first file, click on it and click open. I drag this to the viewer. You see I have the same depth information for whatever it is I want to create. Now, one of the things that the subscriber that requested for this depth map node wanted to know is how to use this mask now to create depth of field. So I'm going to go here and uh, pull in three blur nodes. Shield space bar, pull in regular blur. That's one. Shield space bar, break outside there. Shield space bar, pull in variable. Then shift space bar, pull in defocus. Defocus and click add. We can connect this to the masking pewter of this blur. We can also connect, we can connect this to the green in pewter variable and connect this to the mask in pewter of defocus. Connect this footage. Where is the focus? Okay, that's wait, sorry, my bad. Yeah. And yeah, connect this to that. Sorry. Then this actual footage, let me just connect it from here. And connect this to the yellow input, yellow input, and yellow input. Okay, so we start with um, blur. Drag this to the viewer. Increase the blur size a lot. Now we can't use this depth blur directly like this. I need to put it through a bitmap node. So I press Shift Space Bar and type bitmap. I just go now. I can connect it where I want to connect. That's it. Then I connect this to that, connect this to that, and connect this to that. Okay, so bitmap will not change this from alpha to the channel on the bitmap to luminance. Okay, so we drag this. Now you'll see that. Let's make it a dual viewer. Let's close media pool and drag bitmap to this side. We can now use this slider here, the low and high slider, to isolate the parts where we want this blur to be applied to. All right. So I go to bitmap, drag that like that, and drag that like that. Let's try this a little further like that. And um, then seal that up. And I now this is bitmap, I say invert. So you see, I blurred out the background of the girl is in focus. So we created depth of field without actual masking. That's one, but I do not like this halo-ish thing around her, but it is fine. And we go to variable blur. Variable blur is a little system intensive. It takes a while for it to display more like, and we can increase the blur size. It's a lot gentler than blur. A little more realistic, right? And then um, we can change the blur channel. Let's just leave it at default. We can increase the quality a little. And then we have the blur. I can go to the map and I can adjust where focus is. I can drag this back. We see everything is in focus, and I can drag it back. So the only the girl, then the girl gets out of focus. So we can actually create some focus pulling thing here. Right. So moving on, let's go to the focus, drag that to the right view out. This, this whitest thing is no pressure. We just need to drag it down to get that to go away. Let's increase the, the focus size. So you see it's, this is the most realistic defocus. So this has that there and there we go. So we can go to bitmap and just determine what parts of the image we want to blur out. 
at that. And then we have cool. And that is how we do depth of field with depth mask without killing a system. We can do so many other things with depth mask, but I'll just stop with this. I hope we learned one or two things. So it is the took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. Do like and subscribe and um, see you on the next one. Cheers.